Crowd is an international dance exchange that brings together artists who are involved in community-engaged dance. I'm Elspeth Jonas. I'm a movement artist based in London. Um, my practice is rooted in hip hop and I'm here as a crowd artist with... <laughs> Maya Delinsky. <laughs> I am also a dance artist based in Copenhagen. What drew me to crowd was the fact that it would give me an opportunity to interact with a professional working similarly to me or in a, in a similar set of concerns, but from another country. It was a great opportunity to be like paired up with another artist, as Maya said, from a different country, and then get to experience their community in that space for a couple of weeks and then exchange. Me and Rita were working in Varjaka together with Taiga Box and our facilitator Julian. And Varjaka is a, is a rural area and the community here is not somehow obviously visible or visible in any exaggerated way. There, I mean, there might be this assumption that in order to work with community engagement, you have to work with groups, which is not necessarily the case. It's not the, the one and only way. So instead, both of us are actually working with individuals and individual persons, one person at a time. But this is also accumulating then to something larger. The open-ended nature of the residency, so we don't need to produce work, um, it's a research residency. I think that is so important because it, it, if it was about producing work, I would immediately open up my toolbox of artistic tools that I have and start using them. Whereas for this residency, I, I've kept my toolbox, left it at, at home. And so my way of being here is just to listen, to learn about the community. And in this way, I think if work was to arise out of this residency, it would probably surprise me. Hi, my name is Alex McCabe. I'm a dance artist based in Glasgow. Hi, my name is Stephanie. I'm a dance artist from Cologne, Germany. A practice needs to be practice to let it grow. We've done things like gone, gone for a walk together and, um, and dreamt up new projects that, exactly. in connection to the landscape around us, just as a mental exercise and to get to know each other's creativity and how it connects to the world. It was you, Alex, uh, who had the wish to have a dance button at the studio. It is this little sign. We had it on the wall. If we felt too much uh, brainy and uh, we spoke too much, we pressed the dance button on the wall and had a little dance. My name is uh, Amparo Gonzalez Sola. I am a choreographer from Mendoza, in the south of America, in Argentina. And I am living now in the Netherlands. So I am coming now from, from Amsterdam. And my name is Ausrún Magnusdóttir. I'm a choreographer and a performance maker. I live in Reykjavik, Iceland, and I'm from Reykjavik, Iceland. Today we are talking about this. I think it has to do with this, uh, the common process and uh, how even if it is common doesn't mean that we are in a kind of homogeneous, like uh, finding something that mm. is homogeneous, but more how a common process can contain uh, contradictions, uh, conflicts, things that we agree and we don't agree and even uh, in this case be something in common. My name is Willy Stark. I'm a performing artist, a dancer and choreographer from Paris, living in Germany. My name is Bianca and I am a Brazilian artist living in Norway for the past five years. We discussed about lots of topics that uh, impact our daily life and our lives as artists 
and we talked about uh, borders in a, I don't know, maybe not the literal sense, but like broader picture of borders. And we talked about what it is to be a person of color, especially a woman of color in this art scene. For us, what has been very good and very such a nice opportunity is to also get to know someone else's practice, someone who comes from a different context, a different dance background, a different community, and then just being together and sharing like methods, sharing ways of seeing dance, and doing that physically in one space um, has been like super inspiring also for our own individual practices. There is something in this residency that makes me appreciate the accumulation of knowledge and the transferring of knowledge between people. The knowledge that comes from this residency does not get its peak here, but gets its peak longer in life. So understanding that the artists usually have quite long pathways and or careers and the knowledge accumulates and I'll make use of it as I go about a lifelong engagement with art.